Log in to your account. Post login, you are directed to the home page. Here, click on the Portfolio tab. Go to Asset Summary. The Asset Summary page displays your net worth and amount invested across assets. It further highlights the unrealized profit or loss and gives you a quick view of gaining and losing stocks from your assets. A pie chart detailing your asset breakdown as per investment in various asset classes is listed. Portfolio performance over the past 365 days is displayed. Realized profit and loss details are also shown. Click on the Notes icon. Guidelines and explanations for asset summary are displayed. Kindly go through these in detail. Next, from the drop-down, select Default. Click on DMAT Reconciliation. Your DMAT Reconciliation Summary is displayed. Next, click on Capital Gains link. The Capital Gains page is displayed. The report shows stock-wise holding under short-term and long-term. You can also download this report in Excel format by clicking on the icon. In the Asset Summary page, your asset details across asset classes are listed. You can also add a transaction by clicking on Add and entering required details for any asset class. Next, under the Portfolio tab, click on Equity Summary. Your equity investment and current valuation is displayed along with profit or loss status. Top gaining or losing stocks are also shown. Your investment breakdown in equities across sectors is displayed using a pie chart. Stock performance of stocks giving profits and those in losses is shown. Realized profit or loss along with top sector exposure is displayed. Scroll down for stock details. Your stocks, invested quantity, current market price, value and profit or loss status is available in one glance. You can directly buy more shares by clicking on the buy icon. Enter required details for buying stocks and place order. You can similarly sell by clicking on the sell icon. You can also invest in SIP. You can also add a transaction by clicking on add transaction. The add transaction screen comes up. Enter the first few letters of the stock you wish to buy. Select stock. Exchange is updated by default. Enter date. Enter quantity and price at which you wish to buy. Click on Save to carry out the transaction. Next, click on the filter icon. Select All from the Profit and Loss drop-down and select Product Type as All. Then select holding type as zero. All stocks which you had traded in but currently hold zero quantity are displayed. Select holding type as positive. All stocks with quantity greater than zero are displayed. You can also sort stocks. Click on sort by icon. You have the option of sorting stocks by various parameters. If you select quantity, stocks will be listed as per quantity you hold under each stock. To view the complete transaction history for a particular stock, click here. The transaction details are listed. You can download the report in Excel format by clicking on the icon. Click on the PDF icon to view our research report on a particular stock. Next, go to Mutual Funds Summary under the Portfolio tab. 
your mutual funds valuation and mutual funds investments are listed. Unrealized profit or loss details are listed along with top gaining and losing schemes for the day. Your asset-wise mutual fund allocation is displayed using a pie chart. Your mutual fund performance over the past 365 days is shown in a graph. Details about your mutual fund scheme are displayed. As you scroll down, your mutual fund schemes are listed. Here, click on Filter by icon. Select AMC or Asset Management Company name from the drop-down and click on Go. Mutual fund schemes managed by that particular AMC are displayed. Click on the icon to view transaction history for a particular mutual fund scheme. Here, click on Add to carry out an MF transaction under the scheme. In the Add MF transaction screen, action field is auto-populated as Purchase. Select Date and click on Save. The transaction is carried out successfully. Next, from the filter by parameters, select holding type as positive from the drop-down. Select scheme type and open close ended from respective drop-downs. The list of MF schemes as per parameters is displayed. You can similarly go to other options under the portfolio tab to view investment details and carry out transactions. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.